Hello friends, we will see flagellate Martin algorithm commonly known as an FM algorithm for big data analytics. Now let's see how this flagellate Martin FM algorithm works. Flagellate Martin algorithm approximates the number of unique objects in a stream or a database in one pass. As we all know, unique stands for we are going to find out the distinct elements from the data set or the input stream that we have taken as an input from the user in a single pass. If the stream contains n elements with m of them unique, then this algorithm runs in big O n time and needs a big O log m memory. This is the memory utilization for this FM algorithm. Now let's start with the applicability of FM. The FM algorithm technically is defined as an algorithm for approximating the number of distinct elements in a stream with a single pass and the space consumption is calculated with the logarithmic value in the maximal number of possible distinct elements in the stream. So let's take an example to determine the distinct element in the stream using FM algorithm. If my input stream of integers is given as 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1. So the hash function which is very important for an FM algorithm is considered for this, for this algorithm as 6x plus 1 mod 5. Hash function will be any function which will be given to you for calculating and solving this particular problem. And so this hash function will be used for this input stream of integers x for calculating fm. Now as we know it is used for calculating the distinct elements. From this input series we can very easily see that there are four distinct elements 1, 3, 2 and 4 but we need to prove the same with the FM algorithm. Now how to calculate the hash function for the given input stream and we have the hash function 6x plus 1 mod 5. We will start substituting the input stream bit by bit as h of 1, 6 of 1 plus 1 mod 5, 7 plus 1 mod 5 and the output is 2. We all know that mod gives us the remainder. So the hash function for the input stream 1 is calculated and the answer is 2. Therefore we have h of 1 is equal to 2. Similarly we calculate the hash function for the complete input stream and we'll see here that when we calculate the hash function for the complete input stream we have these results. This is the hash function that I have calculated with 6x plus 1 mod 5 and the input stream given. Now after calculating the hash function we will do the binary bit calculation. We all know the binary bit how they are substituted. So every hash function we will have to write the binary equivalent. Now after having the output from the hash function that is h of 1 is 2 that we had calculated before we write down the hash equivalent for this binary equivalent for the hash function and similarly we do it for all the bits that we had cal calculated. Now the next is to find out the trailing zeros. Now what is the trailing zeros? That for every hash function that I calculated I found out the binary equivalent. Now with every binary equivalent I have to find out how many are the trailing zeros that is the zero which is present in the last bit over here. If you see in this case it is 1 and when I say h of 3 4 then I have two trailing numbers that is 0 is at two places so my trailing zeros is numbered as 2. So on and so forth we keep calculating the trailing zeros. The most important thing that needs to be considered is for when my value for the input stream is h that is h of 4 you will see that my mod 5 value mod value is 0 as my mod value is considered 0 so my binary equivalent is also 
zero. But we have to neglect this. Otherwise, we'll have trailing zeros as three. But as my output is zero, and my binary bit is zero, so my trailing zeros are also considered as zero. This is the most important thing which needs to be considered while solving the FM algorithm. Rest, everything will be considered. As on this part and in this part, we have no zeros at the last bit, so the output will be zero. It is the example at h of two here, and it is the example at h of two here. Now, after we found out the trailing zero problem and solve what how many trailing zeros are there, now let's see what we need to do. We have to now find out the distinct elements. From the binary equivalent trailing zero values, we have to write down how many maximum number of trailing zeros were there. We have two as the maximum value, so we have the value of r is equal to two. Now we calculate the distinct value, which is calculated as capital R is equal to two raised to the power of r. Now, therefore, r is equal to two raised to the power of two is equal to four. So we have four distinct value. This, when we had taken the input stream, we had considered that we will get four distinct values: one, three, two, and four. This we have now proved using an FM algorithm. So the distinct elements are one, three, two, and four. This is how the FM algorithm is used to calculate, to find out the distinct elements from the series of input numbers. Thank you.